London recently hosted the incredible ICRA 2023 exhibition of robots and future technologies. Today we have collected for you the most interesting developments and inventions that are already changing our world today. The robots presented at the exhibition will definitely surprise you. You are on the Karo Show channel. Enjoy watching. This incredibly realistic humanoid robot, named Geminoid, is an exact copy of Japanese professor Hiroshi Ashiguro. Ashiguro robots are considered to be the most realistic in the world. Interesting fact, Geminoid even lectured instead of the professor at Osaka University. Also spotted at the exhibition were the social robot ARI from PAL Robotics for Public Spaces, the Avatar robot Ibotics from the University of Bonn, the robot Tiago from PAL Robotics, and the humanoid robot from the Italian Institute of Technology. Shadow Robot also provided an interesting sample. The company presented robotic arms that, thanks to their precision, sensitivity, and dexterity, can even perform the most complex operations on a human being on the other side of the world. Shadow Robot has been developing in this area for 20 years. The robot arm has 20 degrees of freedom and is able to perform all the same movements as our hands, as well as determine the position of each joint. In general, the company's development is quite promising, which, if everything works out in the future, will be worthy of implementation. The French developers Pollen Robotics surprised with their Ricci robot, as well as an unnamed prototype of a robotic avatar, with 8 degrees of freedom and a tablet instead of a face which could be controlled by anyone. The Ricci robot has been greatly improved since it was last seen in public. It gained a wheelbase, lidar, and other sensors. Also, the robot is now able to manipulate objects and even communicate with people. The world-famous humanoid robot Ameka also visited the ICRA 2023 exhibition. This robot is currently one of the most advanced in the world. It boasts 32 degrees of freedom, but only the upper half of the body. The cost of the robot is $100,000. This cost includes only the torso without legs. Now the company is refining the robot and wants to give it not only working legs, but also teach Ameka how to manipulate objects. The first step was for the robot to learn how to draw. So far, his artistic abilities left a lot to be desired, but the robot tried very hard. The robot understands and communicates fluently in several languages, including German, French, Chinese, and Japanese. But what is most striking about this robot is the amazing realism of its face, facial expressions, and body language. The robot with a built-in GPT chat communicated quite freely with visitors. Deep Robotics unveiled its new Light 3 dog robot at the show. Light 3 is designed for educational and scientific research. Its open modular structure and interface make it adaptable, allowing the development of advanced perceptual abilities such as autonomous navigation and environmental reconstruction. Also on display was the X-20 robot. This robot is already used in industry for power testing, emergency rescue work, and public safety inspections. In general, the range of applications of this robot is quite wide. The artist Stellark was able to surprise all the spectators of the exhibition. In his performances, he combined human anatomy, art, and robotics. The basis of his performances was the extended arm mechanism, which has 11 degrees of freedom. The robotic arm is pneumatically actuated and operates using a series of pre-programmed finger switches. A sensor bracelet worn on the left arm provides acoustic interaction, manipulating volume, notes, and other parameters through a set of rotating special rings. In this way, each movement of the still art from hand to hand creates a unique sound from which the artist creates a composition. Several competitions were held during the exhibition. One of them was the Quadruped Robot Challenges. During the event, engineers demonstrated different variations of robot control, such as controlling the robot from a special station with a first-person view and autonomous movement of robots on difficult terrain. There were many other tasks that not all robot dogs could handle. Robot engineers see great potential in this direction of robots. Robot dogs can be used to develop really useful applications from industry to the service sector. The humanoid robots of the Canadian startup One X, which was previously called Haloti Robotics, also showed up at the exhibition. The company's robots interested a lot of viewers. An interesting fact, the company OpenEye, which developed the GPT chat, invested a solid amount of money in One X, 
to combine its artificial intelligence with humanoid robots, which could lead to a revolution in the labor market. The robot from Haloti Robotics moves on a mobile wheeled board. The company even tried to launch an office security project with it. But its fate is unfortunately still unknown. The likely reason the office security project has been put on hold is that it's problematic for a wheeled robot to move around in the real world, which won't be able to move around in a human-made environment everywhere. But the company promises that a robot that moves on its feet will be updated in the near future. So we are waiting for a new updated robot with GPT chat connected to it. Do you think such a robot could replace most people in the labor market? Share your opinion in the comments. Unitree Robotics brought its industrial and consumer robot dogs to the exhibition. Not a simple model, but the largest waterproof model with a high payload. The B1 got a new modification with wheels on all four legs, called the Unitree B1. Unitree recently announced the completion of a several hundred million yuan funding round for the B1 robot. The company now has three consumer robots, A1, Go1 and B1. The most popular of these, the Go1 robot is equipped with a super sensor system as well as an intelligent lateral tracking system. It has a maximum speed of 4.7 meters per second and a payload of about 5 kilograms. The price of the robot starts at $4,500. Let's move on to other news from the world of robotics. Aptronic has recently published a video with the final version of its Astra humanoid robot, or rather its upper half. According to the company, this robot is being developed in order to help people in factories and perform hard work in the shops. It is reported that the robot is completely finished and can be installed on any mobile base of the customer's choice. The robot is compact, strong, and quite dexterous. The robot, like most of its brethren, is fully teleoperated, but unfortunately, it has no autonomy. At the same time, the company says that very soon the Astra robot will have legs. They are still under development, but progress is being made. The French-Japanese CNRS Ace Joint Robotics Laboratory is working to improve the autonomy of robots, including human-like ones. In recent videos, the lab's engineers showed the achievements of the HPR-5P robot in walking on soft terrain. The HPR-5P is reportedly created as part of the humanoid robotics project, whose engineers are developing robots to help with domestic issues. At one time, the robot blew up the internet with its construction capabilities. But since then, almost nothing has been heard about the robot. The new appearance of the robot is very important because it could change the entire robotics industry. It is the result of a new policy of training a humanoid robot to move autonomously. It is based on deep learning with simulation reinforcement. Thanks for watching this video. Write in the comments which of these robots you like the most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.